It's election night across Arkansas. Results are coming in across five country with voters deciding on school boards, financial issues, and more. That includes Springdale, where voters weighed in on four city projects. Yeah, leaders there want to extend the city's 1% sales tax to fund capital improvements. Voters in the city limits in Washington County overwhelmingly approved refunding those two series of bonds. Same story in Benton County, where the refunding bonds easily passed. 5 News reporter Michael Wilson is now in the studio with us with more on the proposed projects in Springdale. Monica. Yeah, in Springdale, voters approved continuing a 1% sales tax to refinance its 2018 and 2019 series bonds. Now, both of those measures passed, which are allowing all four of the city projects to move forward, which could total more than $170 million. We'll still have the same two cent city sales tax. Tuesday, Springdale residents voted for each measure on the ballot, which means the city might be able to move forward with four new projects. $135 million for street improvements, more than $16 million for a new senior center and park upgrades, and $7.75 million for a new fire station. Typical city things that you see with a bond like that. Springdale Mayor Doug Sprouse explains the funding to pay for these projects will continue the city's sales tax rate rather than removing it. He says these projects are needed. Both when you're growing as fast as Springdale and Northwest Arkansas, about all you're doing is trying to keep up. The mayor believes the majority of voters will support each measure. The two times we've done this before since I've been mayor, we've passed these by average of about 80 percent. The senior center project would double the square footage of its current building to 40,000 square feet. It would also grow the city's mill on wheels program. And as for the more than $16 million parks project, that money would be used for upgrading fields with turf so that both girls softball and uh, youth baseball, which in return, he believes will bring in more tournaments and revenue to the city. And the Springdale ballot allowed for voters to pick and choose which of the four projects they believe deserved funding, which, as we all know now, they will all get funding. But Mayor Sprossi did say if both of the refinancing questions did not pass, the city would have to wait until it generated enough sales tax to fund those projects. But now that won't have to happen. Michael Wilson, 5 News. Thank you, Micah. Tawny Town voters decided for an annual tax, decided on an annual tax for the Tawny Town Area Fire Department. Voters rejected that proposal tonight. Meanwhile, property owners in the Beaver Lake area voted to pass a $50 increase in membership dues for the volunteer fire department there. Voters also in Oklahoma went to the polls in special elections. In Worcester, voters decided a $3.4 million bond issue. Now, while you'll notice that the uh, that, that there were more yes votes than no votes, it did not reach the 60% approval needed to pass the issue. That is Oklahoma law when it comes to bond issues. Property tax increase would have funded a new elementary school building. As we continue to dig through the results of every election on our website, just check out our homepage, uh, 5newsonline.com.